So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Very excited to start this Pending Karma series with Nakshatras. We have discussed a lot on planets, houses and divisional charts, but not so much on Nakshatras. So today we are starting with the first Nakshatra and you guessed it right. We are talking about Ashwini, the first Nakshatra that falls in Aries. And do you have planets in Ashwini? If yes, then you might be going through some of these 10 changes or some karmic events or patterns might repeat. Now, this will be applicable to also those who have a uh, sun, moon, lagna lord uh, in Ashwini or even your lagna. But if you have these three planets, then it will be more prominent. Nonetheless, even if you don't have these prominent planets, if you have any other planet like Jupiter or Venus or any other planet, then the natural karakatvas of that planet and also uh, certain things like the lordships you know so for example if your 10th lord is in ashwini then something related to your profession can have these uh, karmic events all right so therefore if you're new then don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoy this video hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel and for consultations of your regarding your horoscope, please go to my website. You will find it down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And yes, please comment below which planet do you have in Ashwini or which planets. Because you can have more than one planet in the Nakshatra of Ashwini. And what have you experienced in the Dasha of that planet? And what other things you have seen uh what other people have experienced you know in in your uh, observation so please write it down in the comments i would love to see your comments all right so what is the first karmic lesson or uh, pending karma that you can try to understand about ashwini <laughs> is if you have a planet in ashwini you could have a desire for doing something new in that area of life now <clears throat> you might uh, want to embrace some changes or new beginnings all right so therefore, if you have a planet in Ashwini and you are not doing something new there, you might feel a bit depressed, okay? So therefore, try to do something new there. So you might, you must learn to accept and, you know, adapt to changing situations rapidly sometimes, okay? So it could be a bit dynamic. So this is something uh, which you have to take care of because if you expect a very static journey with Ashwini, it may not be the case. So you need to be flexible and adaptable. That's very important. All right. So number two, you need to balance your impulsiveness. So you know Ashwini Nakshatra has the story of Ashwini Kumaras. <laughs> right. So Ashwini Kumaras are very fast. Right. So now this can be good. This can also be problematic at times because you might appear to come out as rude. Okay. So, for example, if your seventh lord is in Ashwini, your spouse might uh, speak in a way that you don't like. <laughs> okay. Or your marriage might have these situations where, you know, you are just, uh, you're being just impulsive and, you know, you're just making decisions, you know, changing things every minute. So, you need to have patience. So, patience is the lesson number two. Um, it can bring a lot of quick action and um, decisiveness, but uh, you need to balance it with patience, okay? Otherwise, you will be frustrated. Number three, there could be a lot of healing which you might need in that area or you might be able to give healing to others in that area. Now, what does this mean? See, Ashwini Kumaras are like the celestial doctors. They are like the doctors of the heavenly realms, all right? So now when we hear this, we think, oh yeah, you know, maybe I can be a good doctor. Hmm, certainly, maybe if your Lagnesh or your 10th Lord or your 6th Lord is in Ashwini, you can be a great surgeon or a great healer. Now, uh, you can study occult sciences, you know, like you can do pranic healing, Reiki, anything, okay? Anything which makes people forget their pain and disease. So that is something uh, which is very interesting and very crucial rather, okay? Now... Also, you might yourself need some healing in that area of life, okay? So that means if you're, if you have a planet in Ashwini, the lordships of that planet might, I mean, in the dasha of that planet, suppose your seventh lord is in Ashwini, and if your chart does not support a good marriage, so then if you get divorced, it might be quite traumatic for you, 
and you might need to go and seek the help of a healer all right so it can go both the ways now ashwini kumaras are known for compassion empathy and being uh, as in uh, hindi or sanskrit they say na udarvadi which means you know very magnanimous okay they, they don't think before giving things so uh, now this is again this is good and this can also be problematic so for uh, people who have ashwini uh, prominent ashwini they might give a lot of things without thinking about themselves so they might uh, they might sometimes feel that they have become like a doormat everybody comes them comes and uh, uses them you know abuses them sometimes okay so you might uh, have lot of compassion and empathy but maybe it can happen sometimes people take advantage of you of your goodness so make sure you do that in a way that uh, you are you you don't harm yourself you give others but well, as as they say you cannot enlighten other houses by burning your own house right <laughs> i mean you can but you should not right so care for others genuinely uh, feel for them but make sure that you um also don't destroy your life all right so this is very important so don't go to the other extreme okay have a balance number 5 you need to develop leadership skills or you might have them naturally but if you don't then you might have to take some initiative you know leadership comes by taking initiative so you need to become pioneer in some activity you know or you might need to become like a founder or somebody you know you will see ashwini nakshatra is very prominent in many founders you know many um, entrepreneurs i have seen that so therefore if suppose your uh, you know third lord is in ashwini you know you, you and suppose in your business nobody is using social media so you you have to pioneer you have to become like a person you have to be the first entrepreneur in your niche who is using social media like all time full time okay and this is just an example okay so therefore uh, you might need to inspire others to go to move towards a positive change but using uh, by becoming an innovator basically okay or a pioneer either ways okay founder ceo <laughs> so this means if your horoscope is strong and your 10th lord is in ashwini so you can become a good entrepreneur okay this is also what it means now number 6 this is a tough one please try to overcome restlessness see whenever a planet is in ashwini you might have this feeling that you want it now all right you want it now uh, and you might have a desire for constant need to move you know let things go so as they say the wheel must keep moving now that's not bad that's not wrong it's good professionally but at the same time you know if your horoscope is not very good for marriage and there are indications of extramarital affair or you know you falling prey to um, wrong things then um, if your fifth house is also not very nice so then this can hamper your married life you know you may you may want to you know flirt with members of the opposite sex and you know hop on from one person to the other like dogs and monkeys so um, now ashwini kumaras are not like that but there is this element of uh, you know this attraction somehow it's there okay so either you might be very attractive and then other people want you because of that or you might be attracted to other attractive people <laughs> so therefore you need to understand that restlessness is good to some extent but otherwise in extreme it can go to you know add adhd and all these kind of disorders and mental problems okay so as i said you know you need patience uh, you need stability and you need peace this is very 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 important okay so this means if you are too static try to move and if you are moving too much try to try to you know, sit back and relax <laughs> number 7 this is must for ashwini nakshatra you will have to do some collaboration you 10th lord in ashwini 6th lord in ashwini third lord second lord in ashwini you you have to do some collaboration in your profession you cannot do it alone <clears throat> because ashwini kumaras they are twins and they are two by default right so you will have to do some collaboration and 
This is something very weird. See, Ashwini falls in Aries, which shows independence and individuality and lack of desire for collaboration. But that's the karmic lesson. Because Libra is directly opposite. So you will have to collaborate. So teamwork is essential. So if your 10th lot is in Ashwini and you think that, you know, you can do everything yourself, Lagnesh or 11th lot, you can get money from yourself. Just be a one-man army. No, my dear sir, my dear madam, that's not going to work. So spread your influence, empower your subordinates. And by that, you will do you will do a great job, all right? So therefore, you need independence and collaboration. So it should be there together. Ashwini Kumaras are very smart. They're very competent. They're very skilled. They can do everything themselves, but still still they do it together, right? So, so one thing is dependence. The other is independence. The third is interdependence, okay? So you need to be interdependent and not just independent and certainly not dependent. <laughs> All right. Now, number eight. You need to use your enthusiasm wisely. So the problem with Ashwini is sometimes you may be over motivated. You may be over enthusiastic for something without even doing any risk analysis. And this is this always happens if the fifth or the eighth lord is in Ashwini or sometimes even the seventh lord. So if your fifth lord is in Ashwini and suppose the seventh house is also somehow linked. So you meet a person tomorrow and uh, you fall in love with that person and next morning you want to marry that person. So you are so eager and so enthusiastic, you know, you are like, oh yeah, I, 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 I finalized, you know, it's like my decision. It's like my way or highway. So because of that, what happens? Sometimes you may be misdirected. And if your horoscope is not strong, when you have a good Ashwini, you can be seriously misguided because it is very easy to fire you up. You know, somebody comes and tells you about some idea. You know, as in that Hindi movie, they say, na, 21 din mein paisa double. <laughs> so double your money in 21 days. Some scheme comes and you, you just like get carried away. You know, it's like, oh, wow, this amazing scheme. You know, just in 21 days, you know, my uh, entire net worth is going to double. You know, wow, incredible, right? So you... But you need to be careful. So <laughs> enthusiasm is good. Uh, but if channelized in a productive way and for meaningful pursuits, okay. And because of this, because of being uh, too much enthusiastic, you may take up too many projects and not complete any of them. So your energy may be diversed in so many 10 different, 10 different directions. And at the end, you may not have any output. Okay, so... Therefore, you need to use your enthusiasm wisely, all right? And number nine, very important. You need to accept that you will fail. <laughs> and Ashwini will have a lot of challenges. Now, challenges in Ashwini, unless connected to Dustana houses, will be to an extent that you can, you can crack the code. So... Ashwini, if not connected to Dusthanas, will give you challenges which you can kind of solve yourself or with teamwork. So it's doable. It is within your reach. Okay. Yeah. If the Dusthanas are involved, then uh, it could go haywire sometimes. But in general, you can do it. This is what I have seen. But you will still fail. Okay. And you will feel uh, face set setbacks. So if you face setbacks, you don't have to become depressed, you know, because see, when you are hyper eager, hyper enthusiastic, you know, you are hyper optimistic, you know, you can become hyper depressed. Okay, so again, the lesson is the same every anywhere you go. It's like, you know, you have to have that balance. So uh, see failure as learning opportunities. Okay, that will help you and don't get depressed because you will bounce back, <laughs> bounce back. <laughs> all right and last but not the least number 10 you have to seek inner truth and self-understanding this is very 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 important because ashwini you are if you have plants in ashwini you are very fortunate because you have the energy to do things which most of the nakshatras don't <laughs> But the problem is you have so much energy that you, 
you are ch either channelizing it in the wrong direction, going all out on one thing, or you are doing too many things and you know your energy is gone. So therefore, if you properly channelize your consciousness, if you ask yourself, why am I doing something? Then you realize, yes, I know the answer now. All right. So therefore, meditation, chanting of mantras, doing spiritual practices, very, very, very essential for Ashwini. You have the power to heal the devatas. Can you believe it? <laughs> now, we cannot heal the devatas, but at our level, it could be, you know, people who are like very rich or, you know, like very pious, you know, very pure. You, you, you have the power to make their lives better. Can you believe it? Can you imagine what a power you have, Ashwini? So, Use your damn powers <laughs> and don't misuse them. So channelize your thoughts properly and you will make the best use of a bad bargain or a good bargain. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I'm very eager to see your comments below. Please let it down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And for consultations, my website is also down below in the description section. Don't forget to subscribe if you are also new to the channel. All right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you get rid of bad traits of Ashwini and foster good traits. All right. Take care. Ashwini Kumaras ki jai. Jai Shri Ram.